Good evening, this is Vinod from VS Infotech. Today I discuss the topic is uh, we are created the some small small add-ons. This tool I will give absolutely free of cost. How do you get it the free of cost? This add-on I will clearly tell you if you are renew TSS, your tally.net TSS, if you are renew from VS Infotech, we will give this entire add-on absolutely free so if you are not done this tss my side sir i already done it some customers uh, some tally partners so i don't want this uh, uh, free add-on so if you want, if i if pay and get the add-on possible right so this is the 1800 rupees plus 18 percentage gst yearly so this is the add-on cost if you are done TSS my side like VS InfoTech, so you will get it the this add-on absolutely free. What are the TSS renewal is there? TSS means tally software service. So if you are TSS renew single user or multi-user or auditor version, anything, no problem. If you are done from VS InfoTech, I will give this add-on absolutely free how to renew tss online just open your tally solutions.com website see i show the details and click buy now so this is the button buy now and after that you can go for uh, three options is there you can go for renew and after that you can see the silver silver means single user tss gold means multi user tss and you can click single user TSS renew option. After that, you can type the your serial number. Your serial number, how do you can identify? I will tell you, just you can open your tally. See, I will open my tally prime and even though I will say tally ERP9 also. How to see your serial number? Just go for left side corner in click uh, that option silver option and you will get it your serial number even though same tally ERP 9 in bottom in bottom part serial number is there okay so just you can note down that is the your tally serial number even though some TSS will be expired so you can find out your serial number and put the serial number on website to renew the online option now I come back to website and type the serial number so this is the tally serial number your registered serial number okay so now i am tss renewing for single user so just to see one option is the preferred partner if you want to change the preferred partner just untick that and enable the change partner change partner and select the keyword so which in pan india you want any partner just you can type it right now i type it my company name vs infotech vs infotech you can type it and just click the go option so automatically you can see the company name and just see the down arrow so i'll cursor it just you can click that down arrow you will get it the information then click that button so automatically you can change so previously your uh, uh, serial number will be there in another uh, partner right now you can you can change the preferred partner so after that you can give the billing address for example right now if you are by the online tally solutions to give the direct bill so that's why you can fill the entire details name address gst number you have a gst number you can give the gst number otherwise in gst number box below one option is that um, don't have a gst number just tick that that's it and uh, whatever it is address details entire things you can fill out now small example i will give that after that you can go for your once complete the address details 
so i will show that you don't have a gs number just tick that box and once complete the details just tick tick and click that option so you will get it the payment panel so what is the payment option is there credit card debit card or net banking upi scan and qr so any option you can select now i select for net banking so i am select my bank hdfc after that i will done my give the some bank details i will done the payment you will get it the automatically one screen payment successful so immediately you can download your invoice so this is the tss online what are the features is there this add on so i will clearly explain to you from my tally just you can watch it okay the first one is outstanding print your bill or invoice okay just i will go i will open my company display accounts book ledger gupta business solutions so this is my party this is my transaction i already created this transactions once if i take the print out just you can see zoom just you can see in below this is the bill value okay 7200 plus tax so 8496 is the bill value but in gupta business solutions already have here outstanding already outstanding 15400 rupees is there and this is the bill value 8496 so total value is 23896 is the outstanding so this outstanding information will be print out so this is the in that add on tool first option and second one is customers previous rate history on bill making if you are making the bill so at the time of what are the rate you are provided you know that you don't know so you can easily identify that for example gupta business solutions have purchasing to me he has done it already tally tss renewal from me okay so previously which rate i give this customers so how to i can identify for this product what are the rate i already given so i don't know so once i select the particular party and click the particular item so automatically i will get it the previous history so previously same product which rate i will give to the that particular customer so you can easily identify the rate so you can fix the present sales price to the that particular customer so and third one is customer wise so this is very very important to for entire traders so because of you are day to day doing the business but how much of uh, quantity you are sold to some particular party how much of value some particular party buy from you so you don't know so this report easily you can identify so go to accounts book that means in gateway of tally display and go to accounts book in accounts book you will get it customer card just click that so you will get it the entire year entire period a to z entire party you will get it so for example abra outsourcing and akm sons this party is there this party how much of quantity how much of quantity six numbers he is uh, he, he buyed from me and 5400 is the value what are the item i don't know so just you can see that stock item wise once click that you will get it the information that particular party what are the items are already buy from you so how much of quantity you can easily identify how much of value you are done it from that particular customer so even though is it possible to filter the single party yes it's possible just go to range you can select ledger and give the name and 
containing containing means what are the ledger name so i will type it gupta gupta enter so if i filter i will get the information in gupta single party i will done it this so if i want to change the period just you can go and select the period 1 4 21 and till end so in 1 april to till end i have done it only for tally software service only two numbers is but purchased to me so this information very useful for all the traders next one is supplier bill number and date for purchase report so i will show that after that and before that you can see that four in one customer outstanding report in customer outstanding report in tally itself yes tally itself but its clarity is there to comparatively this program that clarity is low i will clearly tell you just you can see that escape in same area display account books account books ledger four in one display enter so gupta business solutions if i enter i will get it the perfect picture so this is the gupta gupta business solutions company name and address that party gst number mobile number this is the ledger details so else what are the outstanding is there all the details and here the outstanding report so in 30 days due payment age aging analysis 30 days due payment and 60 to 90 days what is the payment so all the details you will get it even though round off also available just you can click that off you will get it the opening balance this much of amount is there current total 8496 is there so total outstanding this if you want to mailing this yes possible even though the configuration also available anything modification is there yes four in one configuration is there anything you want just you can modify and then you can take the printout or else you can send the mail mail option already there in email option in tally right now i will see the preview print current and go for preview so you will you will get it the one single screen you will get it the party details party outstanding uh, ledger balance details outstanding details and age wise details so this is the four in one report this is very useful for all the traders if you are seeing the yeah already one hold on that is the uh, supplier bill number and date so in purchase entry in tally in purchase entry you are giving supplier invoice number date it will be showing in your purchase register no it is not showing so that's why we are customized some customer asking me so that's why we are customized so just you can go display accounts book purchase so put enter that particular month you will get it the supplier number and the invoice date even though display statement of accounts outstanding payables so in that area also default tally you will get it the this information but we will add the supplier invoice number and date so you will easily identify which invoice number which party still pending is there still pending is there that information you will get it okay and next one is hsm summary json for dsr1 so right now know that all the accountant and chartered accountant uh, in hsn summary it's not properly uploaded from tally so even though ERP 9, even though Tally Prime also, still this problem is there. Why this problem will happen? I will clearly tell you, display GST report. 
GST annual computation GST annual computation and change the period which month you want that particular month you can change it for example right now I'll give the 4 on 4 and 34 I one four thirty four twenty one. So just April month only I will take that uh, and go for summarize outstanding outward supplies. Just click that you will get it this screen. See why tally itself it's not generate the GS J, JSN HSN summary because of in your units same item you can give the service same units you can give the goods for example one item a is there item a you are using numbers item a you are using the kgs item a you are using the liters same item you are using the multi units item means i'm talking about the item means hsn code not talk about the uh, product name so item a hsn number is uh, double line seven double three one item b double line seven double three one item c uh, item c double line seven three eight three one nine for example same hsn code you are using the different units of measurement so if you are using the different units of measurement how to identify tally so it is not combined so that's why in this program really helpful uh, this program will provided by mr gani mother cat infotech uh, is one of the developer in that company so this tool is very helpful so just you can click that hsn json option automatically you will get it the combined report one hsn code you have a multi units of measurement you are using but automatically it will be combined and get it the total value so that's why this json file will upload properly in your gstr1 report so export in JSM. Just click that. So what will happen? This report is generated. After that, you can go to your tally. For example, my tally folder is there in C. C tally prime program files in tally prime automatically the hsn hsn one folder generated automatically generated in that particular day so for, this is the january 5th date so that particular date you can get it the json file in this json file you can upload you will get it the without error hsn summary Okay, next one is system date as sales bill date. Yeah, this is most important because of somebody doing the payment to previous date. So if you are come to, to make the bill, so automatically what will happen? The bill number will be shuffled. So it's not possible again you can know which number is changed, which number it's not changed in sales register. So you can identify that's more problem, more complicated, most of the customer asking. So that's why what is the system date is there automatically if you are come to transaction, any voucher you are creating in the screen automatically system date it will be applied. This is the 5th January, so 5th January automatically apply. So this is the most important and customer and the supplier address details. Address details means it is called as address book and duplicate purchase bill number block yeah that is also most important so system data as sales bill you see that already 
grid line to all reports so grid line to all report means you in your report you can see the grid lines similar to ruled node display accounts book sales register see this is the grid lines so any report you can see you will get it the grid lines so this is the grid line report and next one is if you are making the purchase bill same bill number already entered again already you are given say some make some purchase bill that same number if you are making again so you will get it the some warning message yes now i'll done it so just you can see that go for your go for your display accounts book purchase register just enter and go for so 23rd not 23rd just go for one any one bill i will copy this bill number okay control c copy so again i will enter the transaction if i give the same bill number control v enter enter era communication so see you will get it the warning error message error duplicate reference number already entered this number please check invoice number so this is most important because of same purchase number same bill number you are again again entered what will happen your supplier outstanding is automatically as per your book increased 5 lakh rupees outstanding is there but same entry you have done it two or three times what will happen you will give the more money to your supplier so this warning message will come you can easily understand okay this bill is already done it so we are not done the this particular transactions okay so you will get it the this information this is also most important and customer supplier address book uh, block block back dated entry okay now i go for address book in gateway of tally click help tdl add on add on features so you can do this see the options enable business power pack yes address if you want address book yes if you want cover printing give the s yes. and because of i am not using so that's why i give that no and print previous balance on party invoice yeah that is also outstanding outstanding print out on if you want outstanding print out on your bill you can enable this option enable item wise party wise sales report i will show you to you and enable grid lines in report you already saw that enable item history already saw that and enable set voucher system date that is also already saw that you can give the hsn width how much of uh, hsn width is there for example you are using eight digit hsn number you can mention here that is most important okay so now i'm go for address book display you can see the bpp report put enter address book sundry data so you will get it the entire party name address and phone number mail id all the details you can export the excel sheet and after that you can filter that okay this is very useful address book for filter for viewing purpose item wise party wise sales report i'll give the period okay this is the full report one year so item wise party wise report you can export the excel you can easily understand for example particular party which items are uh, by by from you so that information you will get it so this is this is same category total value this is more report is there more column and more uh, party name is there but previously i show the simple method particular party in in particular party get down what is the item and quantity total total of value is there so you can easily that so two report uh, item wise party wise sales report available in this add on whatever it is you can use that particular report 
and the next one is next one is customer supply date duplicate purchase bill you saw that and block back data and entry so you can think for example this is the january month in january month you can see the only entered that particular january month because of once gst returns was completed anyone it's not to modify the previous date so that is the most important so that's why you can allow the period january month only you can allow so anyone for example in multi user multi user environment one accountant is there one uh, two assistant is there so all the persons are to enter that particular period only what are the date you are allowed that particular date only enter see the example so one option is that in gbf tally date open so if you are giving the date for example this is the january month so i will give the 1 1 2022 next 10 1 2022 accept that so if i go for display accounts book purchase, purchase register june month enter enter if i modify the transaction it is not allowing it is not allowing because of you are giving the which date for allowed for your persons users so this is the your allowing period so it is not allowed anyone to modify the transactions so if you are file, filed the gst of returns once you can block the particular period so you can not get it the any mismatch error as per gst report and your books so this is also most important and also one thing i forget it in this add on you will get it the serial number gst percentage hsn number if you are make the transaction in the transaction before you are selecting the item in that particular item hsn number uh, gst percentage it is mentioned it is not mentioned you can easily identify that that is also available on this add on and next one is block the block back that entry and day book total value and detailed balance sheet so this is uh, small but compulsory need some parties so last entry i done it for 28 june okay so 28 june whatever is june month only transaction is there Other, otherwise it is not non transaction not there so as per my day book i will give the one date date i will give the 23 6 see in that particular day book what is the my total what is my credit total this total information you will not get it the tally inbuilt tally so in this add-on it is available even though in this option also supplier invoice number supplier date invoice date also available last most important so everybody uh, said to me uh, sir if i send the invoice from tally if i send the invoice if password it's not saved every time each and half an hour or one hour every time i enter the password so that's very irritating for me so you can give the storage option so that's why we are giving the storage option for password once you are saved the password it is not again again no need for to give again again password so how to do that just go in your gbf tally click company and f11 features and option one is that set alter email password just give that option yes after that you can store your password whatever it is whatever it is password you can store and save it that's it so again again email password don't give after that you can send the any invoice through from tally yes possible just go to display accounts book ledger gupta business solutions 
so i entered i want to send this out uh, ledger report to my that particular party so go email current i already created vs office 1 this is the uh, gupta business solution mail id and cc if anything is there i will give otherwise i am not give enter enter just if i put the enter the report will be go to the that particular party email id enter so see password i am not give already password is there because of i stored the password already in f11 features so thanks for watching this tdl add on absolutely free for my tss renewal customers so you are already done it for tss from anyone no problem just you can buy this add on and use it if you are not done the any tss just come to tss renewal from me so how to possible i am in uh, mumbai i am in delhi i am in odisha how to do that yes it's possible that options also i will give that in this video just you can watch it how to change the partner you can change the partner my name and then you can inform to me or else you can whatsapp to me so automatically you will get it the this add on in your mail absolutely free of cost thanks for watching thank you